what are some of the things that can be done at the elementary level? Um, I think more, ki since kids are more impressionable when they're younger, more can be done at this age than by the time they reach middle school and high school. So um, what I would do if I was the god of education, which I'm not, is I would have um, anti-bullying assemblies, I don't know about once a month, but often, where I would stress this point. Schools should um, look for the popular children, who, somebody who's respected and liked by their peers, as somebody who can come forward and mentor the child with ASD. And that's going on at various school districts. At middle school and high school, what I would do is I would have an email address. And this is something I would encourage you to, to talk to your school about. I would have an email address where um, victims or bystanders could come forward and email a certain administrator about the bullying that's taking place at the schools. The reason why this is a good idea, in my opinion, is because there is, a, there is such a thing as cyberbullying. And if there was something really, really offensive in an email, like a, 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 a swastika, I don't even know what, that, that would be easy evidence to be, that could be immediately forwarded to, ad, to an administrator who could do something about it. I think schools should become very proactive in, number one, learning about ASD and learning about the incidence of um, bullying with ASD because it's pretty high. It's almost 100%. And they should know that what happens to a child who gets bullied, um, the after effects can be very, very serious. Death, suicide, um, low self-esteem in adulthood, um, problems interacting with the opposite sex. So if they don't care about that, then they can continue to take the approach that boys will be boys, etc. But if they do care about that and they want to save possibly the lives of these children, then I, I would hope that they would become more proactive. I think on the first day of school there should be printed letters that go home to every single parent that spell out this policy. So I would encourage your teacher to create a policy. Better than that, I would encourage your school to create a policy because it should be consistent from classroom to classroom. Uh, bring in guest speakers. One of the things I do here at Judson is um, I go to schools and I, I would be giving this presentation basically to teachers and um, administrators. So if you feel this information is helpful, possibly you could pass that along. Um, another thing I would do is I would have anonymous student questionnaires. I know that there are some forums of which are in this book that you can use. Um, because students really know who, are the, who the targets are. They know where the bullying takes place. You could probably find a lot of information out from your students if you took the time to put together an anonymous inventory that they could fill out maybe once every two, three months. Um, teacher in services that address this topic would be really important. Again, I think even if you're not going to have a bully court, you should have a bully register. There should be something in the main office of the school that keeps track of this kind of activity and keeps track of these um, incidents so that if somebody's a bullier, a constant bullier, there's a record of it. I would encourage your child to enlist bystander support. I would actually go to your child's teacher and say, look, you know, are there two or three students in your class, responsible students, who you think can kind of look out for my kid? And I really think that that would dramatically reduce bullying. And if the teacher doesn't want to take it seriously, then I would go to that teacher, I would go to the principal, and I would talk about it. I would get results by having other kids in the classroom, if possible, kind of come to the aid of the child if they are um, being bullied. I think parents can reassure their children that people get nicer as they get older. People get more compassionate as you move through college and adulthood. That's not to say that bullying doesn't take place in adulthood, but it doesn't take place with the frequency that it does when you're in middle school and high school. And also reassure the child that it's not his or her fault, that bullies bully because of what's going on inside of them, not what's going on within the person who's being bullied.